Guys, this message on Patreon was so fucking beautiful that I spent an hour and 10 minutes channeling for one pile. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, first of all, I got shit to do in a day. Actually, no, I just had, literally all I have to do is, today is chop some apples with peanut butter. <laughs> That's all I was really gonna do. But anyway, so spirit channeled through and it was like, I hope this is a collective message. Oh Lord, I hope, I hope. But I kept hearing through the message, like it's probably not a collective message, Shanna, because not a lot of people would believe shit like this, okay? Basically, if this does resonate and you wanna check out Patreon, it, it's amazing, you should do so. Build a man workshop. Well, really, build a consciousness workshop. The message was your ancestor spirit team is literally so proud of you and so happy that you stayed the, f the path of love all this time that they want to bring in the perfect person for you. But get this, get this, you get to decide. You get to decide who it is, how they appear, their, their, their body, the hair color, eye color, every fucking thing that you want, their hobbies their um, personality, lifestyle, everything, traits, everything, everything. But, but the viewer that I was reading for, you had like five or six options or something. And you're like, well, I really like his, his body, but I really like her, the way she talks. And I really like that person's money. And I really like that person's career. And I love that. I, it's like you're piecing together five or six different people and you're morphing it into one consciousness. And that consciousness is shifting into whatever human vessel you want it to be. So it was like Christ consciousness mm -hmm. in one person. Yeah, it was very cool, very cool. Um, and, and there was this message that like, the one that you have a lot, a lot of history with, you want it to be that person because you feel like they are your comfort. And I was getting a yes on that. I feel like your spirit team wants you with that person because, well, you have history. Um, you guys trust each other. It's just like, it's like a comfort character, right? But, and, and I kept hearing your spirit team say like, we like that person for you. We like that person for you. They have good bones, maybe quite literally, but I am getting like, it was, it was like a house, good structure good bones, but you know, just a couple fresh coats of paint. I need some fresh paint, a couple new shutters, some curtains. That's it. That's it. You know, it's like fine tuning. If you have a hundred things that you like about your particular specific person, this person already had 90 of the hundred checked off the list, but the other 10 that you want, you're finding in other people. Fine. Fine. <laughs> out loud verbally if you could because your ancestors were like pretty pretty adamant about that um, but again that's a limiting belief even in and of itself you don't have to speak it out loud but I was hearing please speak it out loud tell us what it is you want what are those other 10 things that you want and we will make it happen in this person this person will be that if if, if and an example they gave is like say you want a drummer right but like the guy you're into is not a drummer but like you meet someone new and they're a drummer Okay, and what's your point? Like, what's your fucking point? You're a limitless being, what's your fucking point? That person that you wanna be with will be the fucking drummer of the century, okay? A natural born drummer like that, they will just go to the store, pick up a fucking drum kit and be like the world's best drummer in a matter of seconds, okay? Mm-hmm. Is that your level of magic? Are you there with me, guys? Because pile three on Patreon was very much there. So are you there? I don't know, depends. Some of you, no. <laughs> so you know, uh, not a lot of people believe this shit, okay? Not a lot of people believe that an entire entity, a soul, a consciousness, a, a being, a, a, a personality can shift from one person to another person to another person to another, anyone you're dealing with. You go to the grocery store, it's the clerk. Right? Go to the laundromat. It's the lady giving you the change. You go to, it, it, that's what Christ consciousness is, honey. So pile three over on Patreon, what I was getting for you guys was that you already believe. To, well, ah, uh, yeah, 
it was a little challenging for you in that reading. It was a little challenging for my viewer to accept it. I kept having to, as the reader, convince you, like, hello, hello. It's real, honey, it's real. But your spirit team was like, oh, Jenna, they're just gonna let it go in one ear, not the other. They don't believe us. Why? Because you had beef with that person for like the last 50 years? I don't give a shit. They could change it on a dime. And this is what we really need to realize as powerful creators of our own reality. Bruh, they could change overnight. And, and it's just like, ah. You're like, who the fuck is that? Right. Mm -hmm. A new creation in Christ though. It's Christ consciousness. It is the mind of Christ. When the Bible says put on the mind of Christ, what's the, what's the fuck they're talking about? Put on the mind of Christ. Okay? There is like a new and improved version of you. So there's by association a new and improved version of uh, uh, your twin flame. Which is you. And so now that energy who is the one that I was reading for pile three, they're already around you. They're already like all over you, okay? They see you everywhere. Signs and synchronicities and dreams and like, oh my God, they, you, you, oh my God. They won't leave you alone. But because you have so many options, it's like you're getting confused on how powerful you are and what the spirit world can do and what an ego death or two could do to this person. Like, honestly, guys, the ego can dissolve so fast, so fast, oh my God. You could go out to your car, pound the steering wheel and cry for 30 seconds and that was an ego death. Mm-hmm. Like that overnight new person. Why are we limiting God? Why are we li limiting our God self? Why are you limiting the universe? Like why? Why do we not think that this shit is so real? Okay, okay. Take logic out of this. You cannot manifest using logic. That is, mm -mm. Manifestation is not logic. Okay? Sorry, it's not. The message was, you've got beef with this person, you have bad blood, but yet you feel the most comfortable with this ex. Or, it's, or even a new, it doesn't matter who it is. It's just like you feel most comfortable with that person. Perfect. Let's make that person into like your perfect person. And there was another, let's see, there was another, what was it? I forgot. It was an hour and 10 minutes. Like that shit took some energy, okay? I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, all right. So they really wanted to emphasize how patient you were in romance. Like, oh my God, a lot of you... <laughs> Oh, a lot of you are like, love? What the fuck is love, huh? What's love? Oh, you were so patient. I'm hearing even some of you teach about love though. I heard like, though you, you have had like a shit relationship with this person and like a, a history of relationships, you still really are not cynical and you're not bitter. You're actually quite a hopeless romantic is what I was getting. So you guys have had faith and you're, you're keeping the faith. Um, You'll be born on the, I almost said the 33rd. You could be 33 years old, 16 years old, or born on the 16th. Yeah, you've had like a lot of faith. Great. I, oh, another thing. Another thing. Ooh, I was getting, I was getting that this person would show up at your door like, oh my God, overnight if you wanted it. Like I heard same day actually. I did hear that. It depends. It depends. Temple path. How soon do you think it could happen? guys and this is where we really need to start trusting that magic is real we really need to see that manifestation there are no limitations why the fuck do you have a million limitations why why oh but like jenna i lost his number oh but like but like he told me not to call him like five years ago and like oh but fuck that i don't give a shit how long it's been without you talking to this i don't give a flying fart fadugan if you think that he is in a cave in Alaska somewhere and has no cell phone or service. I don't give a shit. Circumstances do not matter and you will get what the fuck you want. So your guides were saying, wow, yin and yang, yeah? Your guides were saying, all right, build, build a man workshop. Build a consciousness, build a woman workshop. What do you like in that one? Oh, you like their tattoos. But you love what that one does for a living. Oh, you love that one's bank account. All right. Don't lie to me. I know you like that. Oh, that was another message. 
Another message was that the spirit world is <laughs> cornucopia. Like your money has looked really funny. And the reason it looked really funny is because you were supposed to be in love first. Because your spirit team is blessing you financially through your husband or wife, through this, this person. That's why we're like, hello, hello, tell us what the fuck you want. Because we're putting all our eggs in one basket. We want all of the, the best things, the best traits in one person. And then we want you to have a spoiled life of luxury through that person. That's what we want for you. Why? Because why not? You know, I, I, I heard um, Walter Noodle. What's that girl? You know, that one. She's a channel like me. But she, wow, she channels for millions of people, though. What's her name? Esther Hicks. Esther Hicks and Abraham Hicks, right? I heard her. One time there was somebody in the hot seat on stage, and this audience member asked, See, I wanted to manifest money, but I manifested a rich boyfriend instead. And so Abraham Hicks, you know, the channeler, the, the channel, the, the entity, the spirit, the consciousness uh -huh, of Abraham, right? Said, okay, so congratulations, you manifested money. How amazing, huh? Look how powerful you are. And she was like, yeah, but see, I, I assumed that it would be, I would be manifesting it. It would be my money. It is your money. That's your boyfriend, right? Yeah. And your boyfriend loves you, right? Yeah. Okay, that's your money. Congratulations on manifesting a rich boyfriend, your money. So that's very much the energy of whoever I read for on Patreon. Like, y'all about to be fully loaded in a lot of different ways. Primarily financially. Um, and it's because this person is being created by you in your own imagination. This is why in manifestation, it's, there's no one to change but self. No one to change but self. You change you and you change them by association. Okay? So you are assuming now that this person, this consciousness, this entity is absolutely perfect. Okay? Literally perfection. And they are rich, handsome, apologetic, kind, warm, accepting of who you are. Okay. A great parent too. Cause I was, I was also hearing that it could have been for a viewer who like already has children with that person, but then they like, they left. Okay. Manifest them coming back with flowers and a ton of fucking money. <laughs> hmm. Why are we doing this whole limitation bullshit guys in this community? Why? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just, I don't understand. Okay. Why we're limiting ourselves. It's bullshit. Please stop. Please stop. You give me a headache. I don't fucking want to see it. So the difference between Abraham Hicks is I, it and I are it's that probably we don't. Yeah. We're different consciousnesses. I tend to use the F-bomb a lot. I don't think Abraham Hicks does. <laughs> no. So that's probably why I will not be on stage in front of like 6,000 people in any given day. So I'm going to need a rich husband instead. I don't give a fuck. So if anybody has anything to say about whoever I just channeled for on pile three on Patreon, I didn't give a flying fart for now again. You are manifesting a rich, wealthy person in your life. The difference is pile three over there. You knew that you were that bad bitch. You knew that you could do that. You knew that it's because of you that this person is even going to be wealthy in the first place. You see him? Big difference between using someone and fueling someone to be that that rich like you are the consciousness that is making and creating that person to be that rich do you, do you see you as a manifester creating a very 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 rich person and they are going to be helping you financially so i was getting like whoever that was for you were not doing financially very well until your love life is better which i was hearing kind of sucks because you guys have been like either abstinent or just celibate or like just you know dry like the Sahara Desert for a while I won't tell anybody but there was another message that came through too and that this person if you are friends with them they want to take it to the next level and they had oh angel of love girl tell me I'm wrong tell me I'm wrong you cannot you can't tell me I'm wrong you can't because I'm the best tarot reader on the planet 
And also the craziest one, too. I cannot believe I channeled for an hour and ten minutes. Like, I... Angel of love, blossoming abundance, and woman holding heart. Your money, your abundance is tied up in love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting from your spirit team. Soul contract. You are making a soul contract with this person, and you are speaking out loud to your spirit team. Hello, hello, hi, hi. This is what I love about this guy. This is what I love about that girl. This is what I want. Want, 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 want. Matthew McConaughey. So I just literally commented on one of my videos about Matthew McConaughey. <sighs> Honey, I'm just basically foaming at the mouth. Um, it's time. It's time for you to recognize your power. It's time for you to recognize that you can have literally anything you want. And there are no limitations. The only limitations we have as creators is that we limit ourselves. Do we not believe that a consciousness can shift from one body to another to another? I mean, hello? That shit can happen, honey. So, uh, they really want to be more than friends, okay? They want to come back. And I just heard the name Thomas. And I'm hearing something about knock at the door. A knock at the door. And, and I saw them with a, a, a bouquet of flowers, too. Yeah. <laughs> Journey. Okay. Look, look. Journey and broken heart. Like, your spirit team is so fucking tired of you getting strung along. It's like, it's because you didn't know your, it's because you didn't know. What, what am I doing? Oh, 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 you didn't know. Oh, that you're that bad bitch. Oh, you didn't know though. Third chakra? The solar body. You didn't know. It's like nobody told you. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody told you that you could have anything you wanted? Oh my God. Listen, there is someone already energetically around you and it's like you are bringing it, it like you are seriously manifesting somebody to like make a soul contract into a physical body guys if that resonates great if you think i'm blowing smoke up your ass great i don't care this reading is not for you then this person is already around you and i'm telling you right now like you're bringing them into the solar plexus if you're signing us you are making them sign a soul contract with a physical vessel okay how you doing and tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. But if you want to tell me so, I will completely decline that in the comment section. Your money is tied up in that. I'm sorry to say it. But I'm not sorry to say it. Your spirit team's like, all right. Fix the man or woman issue and we will fix your money issue, okay? An ancestor on the other side? Definitely. Definitely. Oh my God, wanted to help you so bad. I started crying in that reading because they wanted to help you so bad. Um, door to romance? Girl, they wanted to help you. Yes. I heard your spirit life. I don't know. Your spirit life. They wanted to help your spirit life. Um, <clears throat> Dota Romance. Again, patience. They are like, we have been so patient watching you get declined, declined over and over and over again until we're finally like, wait, wait, why are you not getting it? Why do you not get it yet? which I understand. Community, oh, okay, well I actually do know, I get it. Caring connections, happy family and community. I feel like there was a lot of people not happy for you. A lot of saboteurs, like a lot of people who are sabotaging this. Yeah, yeah. People in your community and your family, you didn't know, it's cool. You didn't know, now you do. Now you do. Now you know that you're that bad bitch and you can get whatever you want. Girl, tell me. Again. Tell me I'm wrong. Envy. Oh my God. They envied your victory. They envied the fact that you were good. This is crazy. This is crazy. These people did not want you victorious. I'm sorry. They didn't. They didn't. They envied the fact that you were gonna have like the perfect person. <laughs> 
Uh. That's a yes. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> they, they envied it. Okay, well, all right. So what? Bye. Victory. Girl, victory. Blossom abundance. If you choose love, there it is, the heart chakra. If you figure out your love life first, money will come in. Victory. I'm telling you. Victory and money. Lots of gold. <laughs> My God. What is it with the burps? <laughs> I have because the ten of pence. Ten of pentacles. Girl, we cannot stand watching you this poor. <laughs> like, your spirit team is like, you poor. We know what the fuck poor is and you in poverty. Justice. It's a lot of karmics from Karmicville that were doing this to the collective. Like, they had you stuck, honey. They had people not giving to you. Four of Pentacles, like, stuck, stuck. Pisces, Libra energy. Wow. Stuck, stuck. Stuck, stuck. Like, just broke as a joke. Um, you have good karma. You have good karma coming in, and it's in the form of love. Um, 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 okay. Uh, it, one more thing that I was getting is like, you guys just don't believe it though. It's like, I can tell you till I'm blue in the face that magic is real and this shit can happen. But if you don't believe it only, like, bye. I'm being guided to you. This person is being guided to you. I'm hearing I hear you so loudly. Very, very soon. Yes. Very, very soon. Yes. They hear you telepathically very loudly. Afraid of your rejection. I'm not, I can't, I literally cannot, I literally cannot. It's because whoever I'm reading for, like you guys keep believing a little bit and then you like, okay, so this card came out. I'm not even sure anymore. Some of you, this person is afraid to come in because they're afraid you're gonna reject them the second they do, right, 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 right? Because you keep assuming they're the old consciousness, bitch, they are not the old person. They are a new creation in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. They are not the old person, okay? They're not. They've had like a ton of ego deaths. They, they're not the same person, right? But, but it's like, I'm afraid to come forward because I'm not even sure. Should I do it? I don't know. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. <sighs> I heard the name Tony. I'm hearing Tyler as well. I heard Tyler as well on, um, on Patreon. Some about... Yeah, because you... Because you have... Yes, okay. So when you go to manifest, guys... And um, say you say like like 10,000 affirmations of like, oh, they're so obsessed with me. Oh my God, they want me so bad. Oh my God, they want me so bad. Oh my God, they want me so bad. They just called me, they just called me, they just called me, they just called me. Okay, all right. 10,000 times you say that shit and your timer goes off and you stop. And then four seconds later, you're like, wow, but he didn't call me though. Why do you believe one thought, one thought that says he didn't call me? But your ass just said 10,000 times that he did. Can we figure it the fuck out, please? Because your spirit team's pretty peeved, pretty peeved. And guess what? Psychics like me have to come through and, and whip your ass into shape because you can't figure it out. It's either 10,000 yeses or one no. Which one are you giving power to, honey? Because this person wants to come in, but they're not sure. They're like, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. I bet you anything, I'll be, I'll, I'll be rejected. It's either they called you or they didn't. There's no, there's no middle ground. There's no, there's no, okay, but he kind of did. No, no, no. It's either they called you or they didn't. Which one are you going to stay laser focused in? Because I'm sick and fucking tired of doing readings for an hour and a half, uh, having to convince you of something that you should be convincing yourself of. So, does this person want to reach out to you? I don't know, you fit and tell me, all right? You tell me. And you tell the spirit world, because we're getting fucking fed up too. I, I, wow, I just heard one of your spirit teams say, Jenna doesn't get paid enough for this shit. Thank you. That's right, guys, thank you. I don't. Oh my God. I know we are divine soulmates. What do you really want? Look, look, look. They're like, what do you really want? 
So, do you want this person? Do you want them? Fucking prove it, bruh. Start thinking from the fact that you already have them, okay? You already have them. They already called, they're literally at your door right now. Did you, did you just hear that knock on the door? That was them. Oh, the bouquet of flowers, all right? That was them. Go answer the door now, you guys, because it's Jesus it's knocking, okay? It's Jesus. He stands at the door and he knocks and he's like, Beach, can we please move this along? Anyway, you do have really amazing spirit guides on the other side also that really want to help you do this. I'm hearing like, we owe you, we owe you. Like, I heard, I heard the things you do for the, the collective, the things you do for the collective. We, we owe you. We want to do this for you. We love you. We think you're fucking amazing. We do, we do. We love everything you're about. So let us do this for you, all right? One last card from this deck, because it's just, I love love. I do, I'm a hopeless romantic. I think I'm stupid like that. Don't give up on me because I'm trying. They are trying. This person is going to try to, they don't even have to try. You just have to keep affirming. They have changed. They have changed. They are like that now. They're, they're a drummer now. He's a professional drummer now. Mm-hmm. And he has tattoos. And a fish tank. And lizards. I don't know where that's coming from, but anyway, somebody's going to get a guy with lizards. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Be patient. We're going to make it work. Okay, we're going to make it work. You want them to have lizards? Have at it. We're going to make it work, guys. I'm getting more and more excited for a long-term commitment. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because they want to be in a commitment with you. Mm! And I was getting like, I don't care if you guys have not talked to this person for years. I literally don't give a shit. I literally said, I don't give a shit. They will reach out to you. I, I was saying that. I mean, I was finishing that sentence as this card came out. Yes, I will reach out to you. I will reach out to you. Once you figure it out, once you figure out that you're gods, once you figure out that you are that bad bitch, you get what you want every time. Literally, not like, oh, like 90% of the time. No. Perfection is what you are, so perfection is what you get. Do you understand? I'm glad we agree. Now, if you guys could get it through your thick skull, so I don't have to ever again channel for an hour and a half on the same message, all right? I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.